In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, come with Debbie and I as we go garage sailing. We are going to go there and buy it out. Oh, you know it, Debbie. Five bucks. We found a ton of stuff along the yard sale trail, and we can't wait to take you along. So if you're ready for some crazy fun, Ian, are you there? Let's hop in Debbie's van and go garage sailing. One quick note before we get started. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I hope that you'll do so. It's real easy. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. It costs nothing to do so. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now let's get down to some serious shopping. Today is the yard sale trail. That's right, you guys. It goes through St. Clair. It goes through Marine City. And it's all along the water. It is absolutely beautiful. And if you remember, that's where we ran into the pumpkin lady. Oh yeah, you guys remember the pumpkin lady. Although I have to say, lately I'd have to say we have become the pumpkin lady. You guys remember that garage sale. We cleaned house. And today we're hoping to do the same. Good morning! Baby. Good morning, I'm so excited for today. I have a full tank of gas and a half pack of cigarettes. Want to go get the van back together? That's, let's do it. Let's, let's do, it. do it. Let's go fill this van up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I couldn't have been more excited to go. I love these garage sales, and I look forward to them every year. I know one thing. Debbie won't be using anyone's bathroom. Do you remember last year she almost got beat up? Debbie went in the bathroom, and I'm sitting here in the car, and I don't think her air's working. <laughs> I'm literally sweating. So while I was sweating in Debbie's van, little did I know that she was almost getting beat up. Someone was banging on the door. Who's in my bathroom? And when Debbie opened the door, the woman was like six foot. And Debbie was like, oh my gosh, I was scared. It was so crazy because this was a restaurant and this was a public bathroom. Anyway, it's pretty safe to say that Debbie will not be using anybody's bathroom this time. Right, so we just spotted our first garage sale. Right, Deb? Yep. I can't wait. Go there and buy it out. Even if I don't want the stuff, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> just because I'm so excited to find the garage sale. I know, I know. We had a little challenge trying to find this, but I think we found it. Oh baby, oh baby. I know, right? Wow, look at this planner. It's only a dollar. These lanterns remind me of the ones that we got at that one garage sale. Remember, she had everything that was just amazing, and it was $5, $10. Well, look at this. These are $5 and $10, so they're priced the same. I have to get these. I want to buy these. Okay. Yeah, I like them. I know, it's like treasure hunting. Some of the stuff my kids brought over, I'm going, what the hell even this is that? <laughs> like this thing. What the heck I'm, is It was $30 at Home Sense at some point. I think I might get that too for a dollar. I know it's, <laughs> that's, you know, hey, whatever. What do you think? Should I get it? All right. I'm going to get it. What do you got already? These are the magnets. Oh. Screw these to the wall, and then you put your knives on them so your knives don't get dull. Oh, got it. Okay. I thought these were really pretty. I could totally see that in a cottage. I really like this wooden spatula, at least I think it was a spatula, but she was selling it with that plastic bowl for $3 and I didn't want to buy that. But I could totally see this in a white ceramic pitcher. This is such a cute planter. I could totally see it with some greenery in it. What is it? Oh, like a fairy garden? Isn't that so cute? I ended up buying that gold head planter, the two lanterns, 
and also the angel vase. And then we moved on to another garage sale. This next garage sale had some of those old bottles, you know, the ones that you can put apothecary labels on, sort of like what my mom did during Halloween with bottles that were similar to this. Those sold so quick for her. Nothing so far has jumped out at me. This is kind of cute. Don't know if it's something I need, but it's cute. Joy, I want these brown bottles. Man, this one's got a little chip in it, but I don't think it'll matter for what she's gonna do. She's gonna um, make them into those. Yeah. Yeah. You know what she's doing, because I just showed you. Yep, my mom's planning on making some more of these. When you got a good seller, you got a good seller. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. You see how all these houses are on the lake? It's just so beautiful to go garage sailing around here. Oh, there. Especially because we're right by the lake. Yes. And at oh, the edge is catch. Remember oh that? Oh my goodness! I haven't seen one of those in very long time. I love this pumpkin. I am definitely gonna get this for my mom. She's gonna love it. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? And since my mom's last name starts with a P, it's perfect. Did you find something else? Oh yeah, I did see that one right here. Yeah. Debbie likes this bunny and this tree. She said it's $5 for each. Yeah. I'm not um, very crazy about the about colors on the bunny, but I have a friend who's really artistic. You do, do you? Do you? <laughs> and I'm sure she could give me some hints. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. I asked how much this is. He said five bucks. I'm gonna get this. This is a cute washboard. I like those, Dad. Oh, each. Morning. Morning, sir. Would you take? Good. Would you take fifteen for both of these? How much? Fifteen. Yep. Sold. Now, Debbie didn't want them for herself. She asked for me, and I'm so glad she did because I love these chairs. I don't even want to sell them, to be honest with you. Now, Debbie really liked this lantern, but the guy wanted $40 because it is an actual heater, too. This must have a lid in here somewhere. Yeah, it's really cool. Make a flower arrangement in. Love it. Oh. Is it worth now what you didn't hear was the woman said is it worth a dollar so she was saying that that was just a dollar and she told us there was no lid to it debbie didn't want it but for a dollar i will definitely take it wow look at all these magazines they're only 50 cents for a bundle she has joanna Gaines. she has martha stewart she has a diy decor Wow, Beanie Babies, they were all the rage back in the day, weren't they? Wow, can you say gorgeous? Look how beautiful this mirror is. Ooh, this bowl's not bad either. Oh, my mom would be all over this. What is it, Dom? Just put out a needle point on that. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
All right, I can't pass these up. These are only 50 cents. I have to get them. And I'm going to give some to my mom. She loves Magnolia. So, yeah, these are great. I'm getting them all, you guys. I'm going to take them off her hands. Deb picked this up. This is so cute. And inside, there are little cards like this one here. No regrets, just lessons learned, right? Good for the green kids to read. Oh, yeah. They're so cute. Look at that paper and everything. Coffee table downstairs. That's a great purchase. I think so. Let's see what this one has. You never know. I didn't end up getting these shutters, but in hindsight, I probably should have. You know what stops me though, is thinking about painting them. They're so hard to paint. You have to get in all those nooks and crannies and it is quite the task. Deb, you going yeah. somewhere? It is. Yeah. Well, the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Dance yeah. is coming up. I'll be going. That's really pretty. Going. All right. Well, have a good day. Thanks uh -huh. for stopping. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Hello there. Hi. How are you doing? Doing great. You know, I don't know anything about that. That's my wife's stuff. One thing I do know, this is $2, and I am definitely going to get this. And I think I'll probably get that strainer that Debbie pointed out. Oh yeah, you like those skeleton hands? Yeah, <laughs> I do. Do I need a kettle? Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. They're <laughs> so cute. I think it's a Christmas one. Oh, you think so? So cool. So now you know the truth. I tell my sister everything. Yeah, these two might go back and forth with each other. What's that? Helmet for Deb. <laughs> I put a double on it. <laughs> I told you what my sister lies about all the time. She tells Doug these lies about me. They're not true. Don't believe them. But I'll tell you, no matter how much they go back and forth, these two love each other. Look at these two sisters here. <laughs> Aw. I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> and as you can see, truth be told, they have a bond that's unbreakable. <laughs> wow, look at these rugs. The color is absolutely beautiful. But do I need four yellow rugs? Probably not. And I don't want to spend $10. I might have to get this. This is like brand new. I think it's from Joann's. Yeah, I really like this. And you know what? It's $5, so why not? For your what, bedroom. What's that? You put these in your bedroom. These are what you've been looking for. They, <laughs> they go one on the ceiling, one on the floor, and you hope your stripper pole up to it. <laughs> hey, I talked to Dan. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Very funny, Debbie. Some things are just not meant for the eyes. And the funny thing was, the more I looked at this box, I'm like, how did she even know what it was? Like, there's no markings on the box. <laughs> I'm just helping him out. Oh my gosh. Debbie's like, hey, these are for your stripper poles. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's so funny that you knew what this was, Debbie, and there's no marking on the box or anything. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Mm-hmm. So tiny. Well, look at all this great stuff up here, you guys. This right here, you can make a lamp out of. And this oil can, I saw it at a consignment store for $30. Now she only wants like two bucks a piece for this stuff. I'm definitely gonna get the grater too. I don't know about the watering can because it doesn't have the spout and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna come across one or when I will. Oh, look at this. Hello, Ann. Ann. Wait, maybe I'm upside down. I don't know how she does it. Ann, are you there? Hello, Ann. Meet us at the garage sales, okay? Wear your hat. She's coming. 
I don't know, this might be a little um, old style because it still has the cord. It's not cordless. It's not cordless, you're right. <laughs> oh, and in that shower head phone makes me laugh so hard. The black one. The black one. Oh, I'm, I'm so okay. glad you brought your yeah. phone, too. Oh, it, is, it has been going off nonstop, especially when it found out I was here. <laughs> oh, Anne, we love you. We love you. Hi, this is Anne's phone. Oh. <laughs> I need a secretary now. No, no, she's busy right now. You guys will be glad to know that Anne is going to Springfield, so you'll get the chance to meet her. And yes, I'm sure she'll have her famous showerhead phone with her. Oh, it's going to be a blast. This is an oldie but goodie. I love the handles. This would make a great Tin Man hat, or you can even put it on a snowman. Oh, an old wood planer. Now, I work with wood, but I don't know what I would even do with this. Eek, now that is scary. <laughs> a sickle and a rusty one at that. These star hooks are kind of cute. Craftsmanship here, huh? That's kind of pretty, right? Yeah, I like that. Those are pretty with the snowflake pattern. I wonder if they're two dollars each plate. They definitely need some cleaning up. Hopefully, you can clean them up. What you see? That's another. Yes. I just oh yeah. Missing, but those oh. Are so yeah, it's also big though, Deb. Right. Deb showed me this lobster crate, which is cool. It's only five dollars, but it has some missing bars, and this thing is so huge. Like, where am I going to put this in the store? I think I'm just going to pass on this. This is cute, but it has 80 million holes in it. These are absolutely filthy. Yuck. Wow, how cute is she? This is like someone's garage slash side room slash office. I was like, wow, this is like the original carpeting when they added this room on or refinished the garage. It's got to be from the 70s, right? They even had an old sewing machine with those fancy drawers and it had their original seat with it. Well, we really didn't find anything here, so we decided to move on. Look at the pair of nightstands for $25. That is such a steal. Now, you would think nightstands would go like crazy, but you know what? They really don't. I've refinished quite a few pairs, and they always hang around a lot longer than I would like. And for that reason, I am going to skip buying these. I love this metal farmer's market sign, but she has $7 on there. If she takes five, I will buy it. That's, that's a nice basket, right? Oh, I'm gonna have to get these because I'm gonna use the Glowforge on this and put something really cool on each of them. Now, I love this box. I asked her, hey, would you just sell that separate? And she's like, no, it comes with the ping pong stuff and the ping pong table. So needless to say, I did not get the box, but she did go five on the farmer market sign. And as we were leaving, I came across this. $2 for that? Absolutely, I will buy this. These buckets are a fabulous seller. You either paint them white or black, but they definitely sell. You know, I'm always looking for graphics out of these old books.
Oh, that's pretty. I like that. How much are they? They hang too. Oh, you could drill them onto a board. Yeah. I like those. I attached them to the wall. Oh, okay. How much do you have on them? A dollar. I'll get them. Oh, Deb. I found your tiara. Oh, it's yeah. got my correct age on it. <laughs> pretty good. Are they gnomes? I know you don't because my, my mom told me that both of you do not like gnomes. I'm trying to take a look at this Halloween decoration if I can get it out. Creepy, isn't it? Sure. Yeah, he's a little creepy for me. Did you get it? It's a chin strap. Oh, Deb. You would go shopping with me this oh, time. Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. I, I would definitely get that. Okay, because I don't want to buy it if you're not going to be seen with me with it on. You know, I sold a lot of macrame this summer. Mostly wall hanging, like boho kind of macrame. I got oh, the yeah. chin strap, so. You did get the chin strap. Yeah, I, I thought you were joking. No, no, I, I have a double chin. <laughs> we all have a double chin. Well, I have a triple. Oh, stop. So I need it. Next, I can't wait to see you wear it. Next time, I'll, my neck will be so spelt. People will be jealous. <laughs> I really love this board here. What is it? My mom would be buying this stuff all up. Of all of it. That would have been gone. Yeah. She'd have that in her hands right now. I ended up buying this for my mom because I know she would love it and I know she can make a great profit on it. This was only $5. This is beautiful garland to decorate like with that. for fall. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get this. What is it, Deb? Oh, yeah, the pumpkin. She, this is a good one. We have some good stuff there. I like that white box. I was going to say, 50 cents. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. If you're not going to get it. No. Love that dub. Like a shopping bag. Yeah, it's really cool. It's right up my alley. You don't want it? No. I'm, all right, I'm gonna get it then. I'm gonna have to get this too. I love that white pitcher, but it has a darn chip in it. This is so cute with the squirrels on it. For a dollar, we're gonna get this too. How you doing? Good, how are you? We're doing great. Oh, that's really nice. They're $12, Deb. I know, if I have a place for them. I like that little plastic. I do too. Hello, how are you today? Good, how are you? How much is this plant? Oh, okay, $5. I'll take that. What is it? If this guy hadn't bought these geraniums, I totally would have bought them. He got them for two for five bucks. That's okay. I'm eyeballing this clock here. Thank you. Those are so cute. Have a good day. Like, man, it's a lot of work to haul it in and out, in and out. I think I'm going to need to buy both of these signs. And you want to hear the funniest thing? After buying this little sign that says happily ever after, do you notice anything wrong with it? Check it out. All right, did you spot it? Yep. Happily is spelled wrong. And this is Ray Dunn, and it's spelled wrong. Oh, well, $3 isn't going to make or break me. I love these little wreaths to maybe go around candles or something like that. Now he's cute, and you can actually put a plug-in in him. All right, let's check this little sign out. Well, yeah, that's kind of cute. And hey, it's spelled correctly. I was looking at that, I noticed these vases. 
They have this old pottery kind of look. That's a cute little thing. Yeah, that's cute together. I just bought this. I have this sign here. Oh, this one do? here, I just bought it. Yeah. Who's done? Redone, I think. Mm. These I know are redone. Yeah, the little yard the, the board houses and the little gobbles are redone, and the others are just like, yeah, that's a redone too. The little gobble. Okay, he's cute too. This definitely would be great for the garden. I can see someone putting a potted plant on it, maybe putting some flowers around it. Oh, the wheat. Wasn't Jesse saying he wanted yeah. it? It's $50. This goes in there too. Oh, okay. Oh, the whole unit. Debbie did buy this, and she said her grandkids had so much fun with it. She said they even wanted to take it home. I really like these, but there's no price on them. How much do you have on these here? Oops, sorry. Thank you. On the other side. That's right here. Eight dollars for the set. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, these are the lids. For our events at the store, we serve many desserts, so this would like be perfect. It even has a lid. Three. Is this a dictionary? I love that this is free, and there's so much you can do with dictionary paper. I use it all the time. You can coffee dye it, you can add it as backdrops, you can add it to ornaments. There's just, again, so much you can do with that. I was expecting this to be really heavy and it actually was just plastic. It was so light. Remember what I told you? When things are heavy, they feel like they're more quality. When I picked this up and it was so light, it just felt cheap. Those glasses on last time. Did I? You did. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jeremy. You're going to really hate those. Which one? Yep, they're still here. Yeah, wow. Oh, I gotta get this. I had one of these. I sold it. Wonder how much it is. Huh? What do you have on this here? Um, five dollars. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Okay, you want me to set it up? You sure. It yep. More? I'm gonna probably make a little pile. Okay. That sounds good. Oh. That's, that's, that's the boss the here. That's the boss here. <laughs> You're the second chief. <laughs> I like these. Two dollars. I'll take that. Cool. Yeah. Do you have any flip flops? Uh, no. Oh, I feel like one. No, I've got a pair of slip on slippers. I'm going to get both of these. And these are slip ons. That fell in these. That's it. I love these. These are like sparkly and I like the cotton wrapped around it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get these. Ooh, fleur de lis. I almost sounded French, didn't I? Okay, maybe not, but yeah, I like these. Oh, I see some irons here. I have no idea how much these are because there's no prices. $5 for the pairs. What about for this here? Um, and there's two buying things here. Uh, two, let's say about 10 bucks. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh no. Uh, let's say three dollars. Okay, three dollars. And then what about on all the that wrapping paper? Paper is like a dollar a roll. Dollar a roll. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see, there is one, two, three, four, five. Um, five dollars. Five dollars yeah. on that too. Okay. I bought all these because I thought they were so cute. You can hang them from the tree or you can also add them to packages. Tanya, I've been buying nutcrackers lately. My, yeah, my mom hates them, but... I hate them. You hate them too? Oh, God, yes. That and gnomes, huh? Yeah, I don't like them. These are cool. Do you have a key? Those are cool. I think this is pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's oh, my gosh. Look at all those old oh, orders. When I looked in the spout, it was pretty stained. I then lifted the top. Yep, I don't know if this is staining inside, but I'm not going to be able to sell this. This is really cute. And so is this bowl. Yep, I'm going to get both of these. And you know the funny part? I never noticed that everything on this table was 10 cents. So I'm like, how much is this? Expecting it to be maybe a dollar or two. And she's like, oh, you just owe me 20 cents. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Deb, what'd you get there? I've had a plaid. You like, like that? Bowl. You do. Isn't that, isn't it like Scottish? Yeah. Yeah. And then some shoes that Jessica would throw on and oh. walk me out the door in a minute. Isn't this just too stinking cute? Oh, this white cardinal has me written all over it. And for a dollar, we're taking it. Oh, look at this bird with this wreath. This is beautiful. What you gonna get? <laughs> oh, the bird there? Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, Debbie, I am... Definitely gonna take that. That's cool. That resin, so I'm gonna take this too. This is really cool. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Gabby, I love him. <laughs> oh, he's it's kind of yucky, but oh, he's cool though. But he's cool, isn't he's he? He's very cool. He what needs I, a home. All you would have to do is paint this white and distress it. It'd be beautiful. And I think we'll take this, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like that. House rules. Yeah, that's nice. She had all these fun flower pots. Not that I wanted them, but they made me laugh. I really like this dish, but I noticed it had a long crack in it. I can't really sell something like this, but in hindsight, I should have just bought it for like a display. Add some moss, maybe a bird or two. This lady had a lot of letters too, for 50 cents. We're talking all kinds. Debbie loved this teapot, and I love how they put like that necklace with the beads so it looks like water's coming out. No, it's just a little witch hat on a pole here. I was asking if the shepherd's hook came with it, so she's just kind of asking her friend. And yes, her friend said both pieces were together, so I bought that for a dollar. You guys, I love garage sailing. It's where you find your best deals. Do I need a black box? No, no I don't. Even though it's $8, I don't need it. Oh, it looks like we found some Pyrex for all you Pyrex fans out there. I'm gonna take a look at this measuring cup and sifter though. And as I was scoping out the table, I ended up running into a few people who watched Flea Market Rescue. It was a whole family, 
and they actually came from Ohio. The reason they were here is because they saw this last year when Debbie and I went and they wanted to do it as well. So I hope they found a lot of stuff and I was so glad to have met them. They were so nice. I bought some of these like in Springfield. As I was walking around, I came across this box that had a whole bunch of old bingo cards. I thought these would be perfect for Halloween because the coloring was so great. You could clip them onto those things that have the clips, you know, photo displays, and it just adds a little more interest. Is that three? Oh. <laughs> I was asking, is this three cards for a dollar? And it's Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you six of them for a dollar. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. As I was looking for someone to ask, are these really three for a dollar? I found another box that had them, and this one said five for a dollar. I eventually found the lady and then when I asked her about these she's like do you want both boxes if you do I'll sell them to you for $20 and I was like sold there was almost like 120 of these cards all together so what does that come out to like 16 or 17 cents per card I think that's a great deal and she gave me the old boxes to go along with them I love these but they were three dollars each I thought that was a little more on the higher side I was hoping to pay like a buck each Oh, look at these pigs. They're $5 for the set. Debbie also had a good idea too. She's like, hey, you could put some of these right in the little pig. What a great idea. I love that idea to put the greenery inside the little piggies. So I bought two of the greeneries and the set of pigs and I asked her if she would take 10 and she said, sure. That's so cute. That is adorable. I know I was looking at that too as I walked by. I thought it was pretty cute. It is. How much is it? Oh, $5, it's on his nose. Did you find a couple things, Tom? Yeah. Oh, a couple of trees. Well, some things. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Debbie and I were getting kind of hungry and someone had mentioned Riviera and we love going to Riviera when we're down this way. So that's where Debbie and I decided to go. Their windows are all open now and so you get that nice breeze off the lake and their food is really, really good. I highly recommend it. Wow, yeah. look at Debbie's perch. Debbie, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. And look at mine. This looks mm -hmm. amazing. I don't even know how we're going to eat all this. We're not. <laughs> we're going to give it the old college try though. So good. And it really was. I ended up getting the chicken piccata. I took half of it home and had it for lunch the next day. It was fabulous. So if you're in Marine City, you definitely want to go to Riviera. This next house was absolutely gorgeous cute mirror what? <laughs> we had just said that my mom would love this bird cage I think she's picked up three so far so the woman was like surprise her <laughs> now the bird cage was priced really good but this bowl and pitcher I can't even wrap my head around the price a blink and better have used that for that price I use so much jute, you guys. I use a ton of it. Oh, look how cute this is all together. I love it all. Now this guy here, he was wheeling and dealing. He's like, whatever the price is marked, ignore it. Just ask me. I'll make you a deal. I love this yellow pitcher. I thought it was so cute. I also like the white one over there too. The guy saw me looking at him and he's like, give me a buck each for them. Mister, you have yourself a deal. I got to see it. 
everything, look it up, how much is this, don't worry about the price. Oh, if my boys were still little, I would definitely get these orange lockers and I love the little basketball sign. How cute together. It's so hard when they grow up, you know? Everyone used to say, enjoy it while you can because they grow up fast. And I was like, yeah. And now I know it's absolutely true. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it is pretty, isn't it? Oh. The guy asked me, is that something you can't live without? And I'm like, uh, no. I mean, I really liked it, don't get me wrong, but it was $10, so I was on the fence about that. If it had been five, I would have swooped it up off that table so fast. I like this tree too, but you know, there was no price on it and I thought, well, it's probably on the higher side. So I didn't even ask. At this next garage sale, she had some cool stuff. one of those architectural chairs. What is it? This is cool too. I like this. Let's see. That's pretty. That is cool. I'm not crazy about the color, but I can always Yeah, you could always spray paint it. Five dollars. Mm -hmm. This is a cute little chicken coop. This was a really pretty frame, but I didn't want to pay $35 for it. I like this. Please excuse the mess. The standards have lowered with each child. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. Where do true? you see that, Doug? Right here. Oh, that one? I have spotted some Ray Dunn and some wooden spoons. Oh, she has a lot of Ray Dunn over here. I wonder if she'll bundle. Some good platters here. They're $8. $8 so. Yeah. Okay, so I asked her if I bought a few pieces, would she work with me? And she said, absolutely. So I've got these platters for $5, and I think that was a really good price on them. I even bought some Ray Dunn casserole dishes for the same price. The only thing I didn't find was a clock. Yeah. Oh, hey, we still have more time. Yeah. This. Oh, I'm getting this, Deb. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm getting yeah. this. I like using old suitcases and trunks for display pieces in the store. Gotta layer that stuff up. You like that, Dom? Yeah. So cute. That's very cute. Is it bowed? Oh, it kind of looked that way. I had really liked this. All right, it was a little bright, but it was $8 as well. So Debbie's like, hey, will you take five? And the woman said, sure. So for $5, I'm gonna buy this. Yeah, that is quite different. Cool. With the spindles and everything. Mm -hmm. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I can totally see this done in cement. That would look so cute. Oh, how adorable. $3, what a great price. Oh, Deb, look at it, Christmas. Yeah, there was ants on it, so we had to brush them off, but 
I really love the suitcase. It was red and I can see it being displayed during Christmas time. You can stack a whole bunch of stuff on it. So anyway, I asked her about it and the woman was like, here, let me clean that up. So they cleaned it up and I bought it for $2, you guys, $2. Now her husband accidentally locked it and she thinks the key's inside so I will have to pick the lock to see what's inside but that's okay because I don't even plan on opening it I just kind of want to use it as a display. What is it? Sugar and cream set. It's very plain. Yes. Oh honey. Oh. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, look at the, it's even, the let spoon. it be. Uh-huh. I will take that for a dollar. For a dollar, I'm gonna have to grab this too. What is it, Deb? Little jelly jars. Oh, the little jelly jars, yeah, with the lid. Yeah, those are really cute. This is not painted very good. That was cool too. It's a toilet paper holder. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I am definitely going to take this. $2. Love it. This is a quarter. Oh, I'm going to take this, too. This is pretty, but I really don't know if anyone will buy it. Hearth and hand. Heck yeah, I'm going to buy this one. This is so pretty, and it's only 50 cents. Oh, wouldn't you know it? There's a chip. I think I'm going to get this honey jar. How can I not? I gotta get this honey jar, it's so cute. Deb, how come you're not wearing your chin strap? I am more than wear it at night. Oh, darn. I know that I'm the type that could pull it off anywhere, anytime, but why brag about it and rub it in? <laughs> Are these mercury glass? These probably would be great for Christmas. Oh, they got an old sewing machine over there. I wonder how much that is. A hundred bucks. Which is that, Doug? Five bucks? Love that. Yeah, I like that. I like the way it looks. Look what Debbie just found. She's like, hey, Cal. Yeah, that's cute. We'll definitely get that. This says Kid Rock. I wonder if it's really... Well, I don't even think Kid Rock plays drums, but he is from Michigan here. Do you know he's actually from Romeo? Yeah, where we go garage sailing. Deb kind of twists my arm and we're done garage sailing. She's like, you want to go? Still out. I know. Might we as well. We have at least two dollars left. <laughs> <laughs> true, very true. Another one? Let's yeah. see. Another one. Oh, yeah. Like the one I got for my sister earlier. Yeah. Thank you. Just to put Happy Christmas or whatever on here.
Oh look, we spotted some houses. I'm gonna have to get these. I was kind of eyeballing these here. We just said yellow tags are half off. Oh, but I don't like green. Oh, we could put strawberries on these. Oh, I've got to get these. I just bought some of these. Oh, you know I love this, and you don't even have to ask me. I'm going to buy this. A big fork. I already have one of those, though, at the shop, so I'm not going to get this one. Darn, this has a big dent in it. I probably could use some more lanterns. Aren't these pretty? They're awful thin though. I like these too. I spotted this clock and I almost wanted to rip it off the shelf, but then when I turned it, it was kind of slanting back and I was like, is it supposed to be made that way? But if you look at the front, there's like a little bit of a gap there. So I'm not entirely sure. This is kind of cool with like the old corkscrew, but would someone buy this? I don't know. stuff in the back doors, the side doors, yeah. for the last, like, half of the day. Yeah. You haven't seen the back yet. <laughs> We've had a very successful day, whether you realize it or not. <laughs> oh my gosh, Debbie. Look at this. Yeah. What did we buy? I don't know, Debbie. <laughs> I know I'm a proud owner of a suitcase. So. <laughs> <laughs> not just any suitcase, a red suitcase that's locked and you can't even open it. <laughs> True. <laughs> but you know what? If you open it and there's thousand dollars in there, yeah, let you know. With you, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what a day! What a day! Well, I hope you guys love coming along. Before we go, I want to give a shout out to a few people that stopped at the store this week and make a couple announcements. So this week we had this awesome couple that we met in Springfield. They came to visit the store. They've been there one other time for an event and it was so nice to see them again. Thanks you guys for coming and visiting. It's always nice to see you. Now this couple, they made me laugh so hard. Listen to the husband's response. Hi, I'm Becky and this is Michael and we're for Cincinnati. And Jenny, we really wanted to see you too. Honey, are you ready to go to the other places down the road? Not I really. <laughs> Oh, come on now. There's a lot. There's relics. There's yeah, garage sales. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how funny. I'll tell you. Yeah, I was telling her, like, you could go here, you could go there. And you could just tell. He was like, oh, no, we're going to be hitting all these places. They were so much fun. So I hope they enjoyed themselves. And, and thanks, you guys, for coming. Now, these two lovely ladies also came to visit. One is from right here in Michigan, Livonia, and the other one is from Indiana. Hi, I'm Patty from Livonia, Michigan, and this is my sister Kathy from Clayton, Indiana, and we're up doing a little thrifting and shopping. Thank you so much for coming and visit us. I appreciate it. Where have you been so far, or where are you going? This is our first stop today, and oh, nice. then we will head to Rochester on our way back to Livonia. Awesome. Well, thank you again for coming. I appreciate it. Great to see you. Now this sweet lady here, she is from Pittsburgh and she brought her granddaughters. Hi, Hi. I'm Donna. I'm from Pittsburgh. Hi, I'm, Kelly. Oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eva. I'm from Michigan. Hi, I'm Isabel and I'm from Michigan too. And um, they're my granddaughters. Aw, thanks so much for coming here. I appreciate it. Of course. It. We will be back it. next time I'm back yes. in Michigan. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. All right, you guys. Thanks again. Thanks again. Hi, Mom. <laughs> to your mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your mom. They were so sweet. It was just a pleasure to meet them. Thanks, you guys, for coming to the store. I hope to see you soon. Now, I got a chance to meet this couple who's from Ohio. And at the same time, guess what? This lady was visiting, and she was also from Ohio. I'm from West Park area and annex of Cleveland, Ohio. 
Thank you so much. Welcome. Arlene and Ken from Napoleon, Ohio, west of Toledo. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. And you know what, you guys? They're, they don't even know each other. They literally just came at the same time. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, like, what are the chances? Arlene and Ken were just so kind. And it was just so nice talking to them. Thank you guys for making the trip from Ohio. I want you to know it means a lot to me. Let me tell you about Rachel here. Now we were talking and she told me that she goes to France twice a year and she goes to the French flea markets. I was like, tell me more because this is on my bucket list. She said, yeah, I love going. And I said, how do you get your stuff back? And she said, well, what she does is she uses suitcases. You get one for free and then she pays for one and she's able to pack a lot of stuff in there. Oh, I would love to go, you guys. Again, that is just something that's on my bucket list. But the only thing is, I am just really afraid to fly. I have not been on a plane since my honeymoon. But you know, the older I get, I keep on realizing, wow, you are just missing out on a lot of things. So I don't know. Maybe I just need to keep in mind, like, if you ever want to visit these places, you're just going to have to do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But you better believe if I go to one of these places, I'm taking you guys along. Anyway, I just want to thank Rachel for coming and thank you for sharing all that information with me. It really means a lot. And uh, maybe one day, one day I'll get to go. All right, you guys. And now I just have a few announcements to make. If you haven't booked your room for Springfield yet, make sure you do that. If you need information, just email me at fleamarketrescue at gmail.com. It's going to be so much fun. Springfield is just a fabulous flea market. It literally will take you two days to get through. And don't forget, we're going to do a meet and greet September 21st at the Big Ice Cream Cone. Yep, we're going to meet up at 2 o'clock. That is on a Saturday. So I hope to see you there. And again, if you need any information, just email me. Flea Market Rescue! And don't forget, the following week, we will have our spectacular fall event at the store. That'll be on September 28th, 2024, from the hours of 10 to 5. We are going to have tons of fall decor, everyday decor. We'll have food, beverages, two tents, raffles, and more. We hope to see you there. If you need any hotel information or places to visit while you're here, just email me at fleamarketrescue at gmail.com. Many of you have been asking me when is going to be the next online shopping. So I'd like to announce that on August 22nd, we will have another online shopping sale. There'll be one at five o'clock and one at eight o'clock. So make sure to mark that in your calendar. And just a reminder that online shopping takes place on our website. So at five o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time, all the items that I show you in a preview earlier that day in the video will drop at five o'clock. And then at eight o'clock, there will be another sale. So you'll see a complete preview in the video that I post earlier that day. So again, mark that in your calendar and happy shopping, you guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.